drone fighter takes flight in Australia more robotic jets could follow. A new robotic fighter jet that Boeing BA-0.6% and the Royal Australian Air Force are developing has flown for the first time. Similar smart, armed unmanned aerial vehicles are in the works all over the world. The air power teaming system drone took off from Woomera, and RAF base in southern Australia. The 38-foot-long, single-engine vehicle flew along a pre-programmed flight path while under the close supervision of operators on the ground. Boeing's Australia subsidiary and RAF revealed the ATS drone back in 2019. Boeing since has built three prototypes under an initial. $29 million contract. The idea is for the armed, subsana KTS to function as a highly autonomous loyal wingman for human crews. A nearby human operator would issue orders, while the drone's own onboard artificial intelligence handles detailed maneuvers. The RAF has mentioned F-35 and F-A-18F fighters and B-7 radar planes as potential control planes for formations of drones. Imagine an F-35 commanding a four-ship where three of these are loyal wingmen, said aviation historian Brian Lasley. The ATS reportedly can range as far as 2,000 miles on internal fuel, making it longer-legged than essentially all existing manned fighters. The Australian air arm arguably is in dire need of inexpensive but far-flying air vehicles to add capacity to its front-line squadrons. With only a small force of aerial tankers at its disposal, the RAF could struggle to project more than a handful of fighters from Australia to likely war zones over the Western Pacific. The United States is developing its own loyal wingman drone under the Skyborg initiative. Russia, China, Japan and the United Kingdom, among other countries, also are tinkering with the man-on-man -man teaming concept. The idea of a robot wingman is that it can keep pace with manned planes, but be tasked out for parts of the mission that you wouldn't send a human teammate to do, or at least do and not expect to attend their funeral later on," explained Peter W. Singer, an author and futurist. For example, they might be used to go into the teeth of an enemy air defense or even serve as distracting targets themselves. It's unclear when ATS might be ready for frontline use. The RAF has yet to order the drone into production. Boeing stressed that ATS is available to foreign customers. The key to transforming ATS into a functional frontline system is discipline, explained Dan Quirt, a popular business writer and former U.S. Air Force program manager. Take an iterative, incremental approach start with fielding a basic, simple proof of concept, then add new capabilities gradually as we learn more about what the tech can do and what the operators need.